everyone, welcome to my channel where learning art is fun. I'm Sarah and in today's video I'm going to show you three ways you can use tracing paper to help improve your drawing. And I'm going to use a reference picture of Max the dog from Show Dogs, which I'll be colouring in on Friday's video. So the first way you can use tracing paper is the transfer method, which you might be familiar with, but I've also got a few tips you might not be familiar with with this method. So the first thing I do is I attach my tracing paper to my reference picture just by using paper clips. And I use one on each corner just to keep that tracing paper secure. So once that's done, then it's time to trace around your image. And I usually use two different colors for this part. So the first color I use is just to go over the initial outline and all will be made clear in just a bit as to why I use a different colour pencil. So some people do tend to think that using this tracing method or transfer method is considered a bit cheaty so it's not really helping you to learn how to draw freehand because you're just tracing the image but everyone's got their opinion and I think it can be really helpful. And that's because if you are concentrating on perhaps the coloring in method, either a technique or using a new medium, it's a really quick way to get an accurate sketch down. And I don't think there's any harm in that. So once you've traced the outline, then it's time to remove your tracing paper and take those paper clips off. Now what we do is we turn over onto the wrong side our tracing and I've just put it on a white piece of paper so that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to be using an HB pencil just to go over roughly on the wrong side all the areas that I'm going to be laying down. So it hasn't got to be neat but it has got to cover those areas that I've sketched in blue. Once this is done, we can then turn our picture onto the right side and we're ready then to trace it onto our drawing paper or whatever paper that you want to use. So we're going to reattach this tracing paper to our drawing paper using our paper clips again. And again, this just helps keep it secure so that it doesn't jiggle around and move when we're tracing our image down. So basically what we're going to do now is to go over the outline sketch again but this time I'm using a different colour pencil so I'm using a red pencil and the reason for this is that sometimes if you're just using the same colour pencil you can easily forget where you've been and where you've got to go and in this way you can avoid that because you're using a different colour to what you've used before. So you're less likely to leave any areas out and that can be really frustrating if you think you've been over your sketch and you find you've taken the tracing paper off and you've actually missed a large chunk or some areas and you've got to reattach it and try and match it up to finish it off. So using a different colour just helps avoid any worry in that and you can just be assured that you've got every area down. So using our pencil in this way we are just pushing onto our drawing paper that pencil that is on the wrong side. So you'll see now it's quite a faint image but we have actually got a really nice accurate image of our dog. So the second method is the accuracy checking method and this works if you're trying to draw a picture the same size as your reference picture and I've just printed off on the right hand side a smaller version of Max the dog and on the left hand side I am just trying to sketch out freehand an accurate representation of this. So this is a really good way that you can practice your freehand skills 
and check to see what exactly it is that might be slightly out or that you might need to adjust. Sometimes when we're trying to draw something freehand, we might be able to see that our drawing isn't quite right, but we are unable to see exactly what it is that needs to be changed. So this method is a really good way for helping us to learn how to improve our drawings and to see what mistakes we've made if we make the same mistakes each time and how we can improve. And just by a few alterations, you can then end up with a really accurate drawing. And over time, as you practice, you'll find that you gradually make more and more accurate drawings. So once you've done your sketch, it's time to check how accurate it is. And we do this using the tracing paper, just by outlining quickly, not too neatly, but just the main areas and the outline shape of our drawing. And all we do now once we've done that is we can lift off and layer over our sketch. And because I've done it in different colours again, it's easy to see which areas I need to adjust or alter slightly to make them more accurate. So I wasn't too bad to start with, the head is fairly accurate and the glasses, but as I look further down on my drawing, I can see that the legs are a little bit wonky. So that's easily fixed. So all you do is you rub out the bits that aren't too accurate and you can make some slight alterations. So really quickly we've been able to get an accurate sketch without worrying too much about what's wrong or what isn't and not being able to correct it. So the last method, the third method that we can use tracing paper is to draw the other side. Now this method is really good when we're drawing things that are symmetrical or face on. Obviously it won't work if you're drawing something that's on a slant or a three quarters view, but sometimes it's hard to draw say like the other eye, or in this case with Max the dog, the other side of his glasses. It's sometimes hard once you draw one side to make it exactly the same on the other side. And with things like glasses, it can be quite tricky to get them the same. So all we do is once we've drawn one side, is we fold our tracing paper in half, line it up with the center of his face, and trace back over the one side of the glasses that we've drawn and that we're happy with. Then all we do is fold the tracing paper over that center line and trace over it a second time. Once we've done that, we open out our tracing paper and you can see we've got a really accurate symmetrical pair of equal glasses that are in proportion. So as we did before, we then turn over the tracing paper onto the wrong side and use our pencil to just apply some pencil to the wrong side before turning it back onto the right side. Then we go back to our drawing and we can transfer that right side of the glasses as we did before. So we just use our pencil. We've already drawn the left hand side so we don't need to trace that back over. But we are just now pushing down that pencil, tracing around the outline, and you can see it's transferred onto the other side really nicely without too much trouble or stress. So all I did then was just to go over that faint outline again, just so that you can see how it's turned out. So I hope you found these three methods useful and helpful, and you might think that you want to give them a try as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon.